I don't want to be an activist today because I'm tired. Because I can't remember all these names. There are too many names. Look, I got evicted from my apartment. The IRS keeps stealing my lunch money. The love of my life is too busy with the life to love me back. And on top of all the shit that goes on in my life, the TV told me another tragic, another story, another antagonist cop, another protagonist shot. If you plant black seeds, you might grow a tombstone. See, this show is called Ghetto Graveyard. And here I am, again, screaming at the screen while the plot's thickening. I just want to cut the umbilical cords of the bull horn in my stomach because I feel more like an undertaker than an activist. I'm tired of writing this poem. I'm tired of cleaning the blood social media rights on my fingers, making 20 feed eulogies, 140 characters, post to Instagram pictures, because all Fox News got is mug shots. Crying mothers don't make good woman crush Wednesdays. See, Facebook is a hashtag mausoleum full of hashtag melanin hashtags are just open caskets for those who couldn't attend a funeral. See, sticks and stones will break your bones, but a click and a post will turn your empathy into confetti. I don't want to be an activist today because, because I can't protest tonight. I got to go to work in the morning, and I don't want to go to work in the morning where I have to eat lunch in my car to avoid the fucking debates. I lose my appetite when I eat with privilege. I can't eat while biting my tongue. My tongue will poke out my back, my spine will crawl out my mouth. There's a revolution rioting in my ribcage and I can't mute this mutiny in my body. This heart hasn't repaired itself from the last time it broke all over the Huffington Post. I don't want to be an activist today because I'm tired of drinking morning in my coffee because a guilty verdict isn't a resurrection because it's not that I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of having to fight. Last bloody Monday, I woke up out of bed and felt a blue wall of silence dealing down on my neck. So I sung a Lumumba lullaby, a prayer to Kwame Ture. I screamed, a mandala so loud, I woke Fred Hampton about his sleep. And I joined the stampede of elephants who love to forget but can't hide their tusks or unclench their fists. See, I was born with this war paint on my face, and I can't wash it off even if I wanted to, because I am, because we are the people's army. And we're here to make ghosts bleed so the world remembers they were alive.